decided to spend Christmas in New York. The dog I meant this holiday for you to see. The purple parking experience. You pull in and they take photos of your vehicle so you can claim for unnecessary damage. Purple parking, you get your cases out, they give you a little bag, you go over there, you load up onto the bus and it takes you to the airport. So we're on a Delta flight and they just give us these uh, blindfolds and as you can see they do help you go to sleep so it's nice and dark and they give you earplugs as well. But what people don't realise is these are also got two working um, items on this one because these are actually designed to keep you awake too. So you put them on backwards like this and you put the top elastic band on the top of your eyelids and you put the next one just under your eyelids and then it stops you from going to sleep. So, um, Job done. Tim's tips, put them on one way to go to sleep and the other way to stay awake. Job done. So, my, my earplugs don't work. Well, it's a nerf gun. So, um, you see me went to um, Bubba Scrub's house, to uh, James Stewart's house to learn about the scrub. Well, here I am in New York at the Trump Towers. And um, I believe he's home. And uh, basically, here's the Trump Towers. And, and, and basically, what I've done, I've come here to learn out the Trump of the man himself. Donald Trump. Right then, we boarded the ship. Ready! Here's Brad up in airlock. And uh, there's a big old bus. So I'm putting it in the room. Right. Job done. Brad just ate some shrimp. <laughs> Soup. I can't yeah, believe it. It's a boy. I don't like that. Chicken and a sea ass, Brad. That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, so we've, uh, we found a train for Chooch. Chooch. Here's a new Oosberg bus. Um, please retain from touching and eating the display. So made up chocolate, Brad. So this is the Welsh Rednecks first cruise. And, uh, the so let's have a little look. We are reversing out of the dock. <laughs> so this is uh, a little bar at the back of the ship. And here's Brad. Okay, so this is our Christmas vacation. And we are on the Norwegian Gem. And we just left the dock and we're on the Hudson and we're on our way down to the Statue of Liberty and as you can see right there in the middle of the camera in green and red is the Empire State.
we can go on, we're right at the back of the ship. There's the climbing walk, slides, lots of stuff here for the kids to do. I'll give you a good tour of the ship tomorrow. I need a clean Rambo. I know. Is, uh, they don't have a turbine running behind there, don't they? They could be dragging something. Hey, please, 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 Stand, stand right now, and I'll... Both of them have been uh, escorting this out there. Empire State Building in the background. Stay still down. That's going to be... Yeah, that's a good one. Statue of Liberty. No, wait a minute, got that wrong. Empire State Building. So where is the Statue of Liberty in New York? Two cents, let's walk down there. No, actually that's the Navy, look at the 50 cal on the front, right? We've got a Navy ship taking us now, look. So, my mum and dad is seasick. Let me go out now. Don't know how to open this. How are you feeling? A bit seasick. Come on, look. Don't drop that in there. How are you feeling? Better now you look there. So, just had breakfast. Let's have a little look around. Where we are in it. So, uh, breakfast. The sea is quite rough at the moment because obviously we're still in the Atlantic. Where day one was, uh, while well, I slept, slept for 24 hours. So uh, we're gonna have a look for candy now. As you can see, in the middle of the sea. But the temperature's warmed up now. We've gone from minus six to good weather. Here we are at the back of the ship. This is where we started off. Christ, gonna need sunglasses. Not in yet. Used the famous days on the Titanic. Bit of Jack come running down. There is a Titanic, isn't it? That's Titanic. How rough is the sea, Brad? This is the pool, and um, later on, I'm going to be throwing Cody in there. Yeah, land on your bend your knees, forward roll. Try it, This one? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six, yeah. And don't forget to land, bend your legs, and forward roll. I probably land on that one. I don't think you will. I think that's quite a good jump, and you've done well on the last one, so. Go on in. Right, come down one and do it again. Right, do it from here then. Forward roll. Right, not bad. Bar, not really. Yeah. So uh, we've just walked through the martini bar and the but whiskey bar. Flat. And we're on our way to the casino, which no we'll what? probably go to tonight. We was going to go last night, but we ended up not. Is this a cinema, Brad? 
No. There's the Sagina cigar room. You need to wash I washed it just now. Oh. Washy, washy. You pick dollars up. Good card. Probably hundred. No, they're reals. Uh, with a dice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah, you roll the dice, then land on the Yes, yeah, so the casino is pretty cool. So we'll have a go. No video? I've been down the casino with Brad and I've just come back to my room. It's all been made up, look. And he's a little dog. I think it's a dog. Could be a sea lion. Could be anything. Like, what's on there? State room, blah, blah, blah. Invited to one of most of the other Cool Champagne Art Gallery. One o'clock. Ice nice delivery. And uh, out on the deck. Definitely warmer now. But all I want to do is sleep. I think it's. I don't know what it is. It must be the motion of the sea. It's very nice and tranquilizing. And I feel like this one in the go suit all the time. Uh, Candy Cody, Joe, everybody's up on deck by the pool. Sunbathing, which is pretty cool. I just can't be bothered yet. So maybe I'll go up in about an hour. Time for a grand start. Day three. I've um, lotioned up now. I'm going to do a bit of sunbathing up on deck. And we're going to be docking in Puerto Rico at three o'clock today. It is now. Half past ten, so uh, we're going to do a bit of sunbathing on deck. So. Amazing. Go from minus something like three or four to this weather. It is very hot. It doesn't seem like it from where I am at the moment, but once you up on deck, wow, that's when the temperature starts right here. No, you just press the top one, so just that's the cord now. Okay. So now we are at the Norwegian cruise line and we're gonna go on this, this slide with duos. So let's see what she's gonna do. Bye. GoPro. So we are on the Norwegian cruise line. And they got sick water slides, but the left lane apparently is the fastest, but people say ah. But when I went on the right lane and I first my friend, I, I still beat him. I don't know which one faster. Go. So, let's get into it. Come on. Sick man. It's going so slow, man. Outside the bar, we've embarked off the ship 
And we uh, we just sat around, hiding from the rain. Fantastic. So, me and Brad are actually plane spotting today. I never thought plane I would. Yeah, I never ever thought I would become a plane spotter. But we've come off the ship and we've come to this runway which is on the beach. It's a very, very famous runway. It's the big ships coming from that direction, the big planes coming from that direction here. And they're just a little couple of feet above you when they land on the runway. Let the runway there. So the first plane, big plane, is coming in at 20 past 12. So I'll run up to the middle end and see if I can catch it. On the runway and there's a plane doing so there's the runway the very famous st. Martin runway <laughs> so uh, I was all looking for a positioning Brad if you see the plane private uh, yacht there with his own helicopter so here we are now strolling up to the uh, the cruise ship got the shoes got the jacket looking dapper i've had a shave we're all now gonna hit the casino and see what we can turn hundred dollars into. So we just come from the casino and I turned my hundred dollars into two hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> so I got two hundred and thirty dollars. Now I'm gonna turn the camera on Brad and you ask Brad what he got. Brad went into the casino with hundred. And what did you come up with Brad? Zero. So you went into the casino with hundred dollars, what did you come up with? Zero. Zero. Don't gamble kids. <laughs> So we're now, so we're now pulling into our next port. You can see my voice is changing. It's, um, this is my sexy travel voice. So we're now pulling into our next port. I don't know what it's called, but I know what it's not called. It's not called Newport, Cardiff, or um, Risker, Cross Keys. None of them. And uh, clocks had to go forward another hour. The sun is rising, the sun is pumping. Don't know if you can see it over there. Um, so let's have a little look at this island, what we, what we got on this one. Look, you know, this is part of Christmas, this is the last day off before we got to start tracking. So he's uh, part of Christmas now, he's sightseeing, but later on, he's got to get Rudolph and he's got to get cracked and get all his presents to give it to all the kids. He's having a pretty lazy, relaxing time at the moment. So I am now going to disembark the ship and I'm going to Megan's Bay. But look at all these lovely yachts. We are at Saint. I have no idea. I have no idea the island we're in now. We visited South Third Island. 
So Food Island we visited and uh, I just don't know. What's it called? You don't know either. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, Megan's Beach and this is one of the top 10 beaches in the world. So I'm going to give you a little look. One of the top 10. Why? It, but you can see all the birds fishing over there. They're absolutely slamming into the water. Look. There's a pelican. No, that's his. Yeah, that's canned. You know that ship? Have I seen a sign? You know, as we come in, it said that they do it you. Have you seen a sign? Oh, so they'll come pick you up then? The water. Come, do you want me to come with them? Don't see, uh, don't see it. Don't see it, is it? It's just, all I know is it's recording you in 10 seconds. <laughs> With 87% right. battery. We've had that 10 seconds video in. Yeah, we can all get in on this one. Keep walking around with it. Yeah, yes. the Caribbean. And then we'll have one with a... Uh, Christmas Eve. We'll have the, we'll have the palm, <laughs> we'll have the palm know, tree on it, like that. And then we'll... Like, look at that. Oh, look at that for a vlog. <laughs> Cody ignoring his papa. Okay, it is Christmas Eve. Say hello, everybody. Hi. Christmas Eve, and we'll be spending Christmas Day at sea. So here we are in the what's it called? Grand Pacific. Our first posh meal out. We're all dressed up, dolled up to the nines and the tens. Ta -da. Here's Christmas, Cody's up. Tis the season. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Candy. Give, 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 give Glenn a knock, bruh. Come from the North Pole. <coughs> Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's on for breakfast. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, there you are, can't get no more yeah. Christmas here now. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ah. Everyone. Everyone. All stay in. Ready? So, count to three, big cheesy smiles. One, two, three. Yay! Yay. temperatures of New York. And, uh, I'm on the balcony. And, uh, just chilling. Getting some rays. Just topping up my tan. I haven't done much some moving. But the sun is there. As you can see, we're out in the middle of the Atlantic. Here we are cruising in New York. Uh, 
we've uh, just come onto the New York subway and we're on our way down to Ground Zero. Yeah, we are. in the uh, New York uh, subway. Skinned and ready to eat in Chinatown. Here's a bit of a hot deal, right? Just like in uh, Iceland. Today's task is walking the Brooklyn Bridge. So here I am in New York City. And um, just gonna give you a little look around because we're on the New York side. The sun is pumping. Skyscrapers. Now I wonder if it's all up in front, I don't think, because the sun is bright today. State building and all that in the background. What's the bike? So I think we're at the um, nearly at the midway point of the ship, the bridge, and uh, we just see about six helicopters just buzzing around. Here. Yeah. 
sun is behind us now, so we should be able to get some good pictures. New York skyline in the background there. Manhattan skyline, as they say. So that's it now, I've just walked the Brooklyn Bridge in both directions and uh, let's have a look where we're going to go next. NYC. I don't know. We are now on a New York subway. Scrapper hanging. Scrapper hanging in the New York subway. Is that only the back now? Where's the door? Oh, there he is. Where's my back? Right, the bike there. Hello YouTube fans, as you can see I'm wearing the Canada Goose Citadel jacket. This is one of the most unique talked about jackets in the world. It's actually in the Guinness Book of Records. It's actually in the Guinness Book of Records to go into the coldest temperatures in the world. This is the City Folk version. I've took the plunge. This is my Christmas present to myself. And as you can see it's a very nice fit. Canada Goose. It's the Tog 24. So it's like the Canadian goose. Got the fur on the back. Let me take my scarf. So it's not like the Cana Canadian goose where you put this. It's all in the pockets. I'm going to take my cross out. It's all filmed. Yeah. So if you keep. So what is the style for? Don't know. It's got a name on it. You don't want to name your jacket. Cool. Tog 24. Yeah, okay. That is wearing the Good For Nothing British brand bomber jacket. But well, that's Good For Nothing. Good For Nothing. We're back on the underground and we're going to Uptown. So where we go today? Um. You are going to the Empire State Building and I am going to Times Square. So I'm not filming at Times Square. No, well you've got your phone. Yeah, I bet. So yeah, yes. I'm in New York now so, and yeah. it is snowing. Put your thumbs up and your hands together for DJ Khaled! Look at that! Yeah. 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 We're in New York. We're in New York and it's snowing. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Happy New Year everybody! How much Fire trucks. Backing into the building. Engine 
So here I am with Cody, and we're on our way to Rockefeller Center, the famous Rockefeller Center, to do a bit of ice skating. It is New Year's Eve. And it's zero degrees. And we're strolling through the city of New York. Oh, oh take, take the gloves off, Brad. Yeah, but take the gloves off. You can sit backwards, I swear. So, Brad now is going to do the famous bar jump. Oh, yeah. Bar jump. And the pull up. Pull up. Whoosh. He's on it. Oh, Mom! look at the fitness on this boy. Mom! Look at that. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, Brad. Here we are at Radio City. Radio City is going to be packed for the New Year party. Here we are walking into the Rockefeller Center. Hmm? Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. That's my what? <laughs> I was going to tell you. And here it is. Here is the ice rink. 1936 was the first ice rink at Rockefeller Center. Hands out your pockets. The GoPro. Got <laughs> <laughs> it face new or face away? I'm the two. Recording this. I think you're on one knee. I, I got cramps in my leg. Huh? Cramps in your leg. 
No. No. It's a man called. What? Huh? Oh, I, I remember it hurts if you fall. I'll do it in a minute. What do you think, Cole? It's not my kind of... It's not your kind of thing, is it? No. Yeah, you get practicing now, look. Is that a little boys going round good? See? It's easy. It's easy. Just got to get on with it. Go and do a lap so I can video you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now look how much better that was. Good luck. We are uh, walking fell at ice rink again and Jeannie fell off then. That man doing some pretty good skills now. I'm doing uh, this a full lap because full laps of course. In the famous man Rockefeller and it's very slippery in the middle. Don't want to go in that part. But it is a Rockefeller. The man itself, John D. Rockefeller Jr. So, it's, it's what the fault where it's great. And his full name is John John D. Rockefeller Jr. So I found that on Google and I saw it on there. So, that's cool. So, it's VIP skate. Don't know what that is. Sea ball, sea grub there. So they're looking at the ice cream. Oh, just need fell. Oh, that's where the roller comes to make it more slipper. And I'm doing fine now. Need done all that. I do a lot of tickery. Yeah, a lot of tickery. See, Nanny. So here I am, Jim Williams reporting from the Rockefeller Centre, ice rink. And uh, as you can see, I've got my um, fantastic Canada Goose jacket on with my Ugg boots. So I'm going to give you a little look at my Ugg boots now. Here we go. As you can see, it is winter in New York. It uh, did start to snow yesterday, but there's uh, no chance of it going to snow today, but it is zero degrees. It's very, very cold, and uh, I'm nice and cosy. No red nose on this kid. This is Tim Williams reporting from Rockers Palace Centre.
Lugo, one hour's ice skating, Rockefeller Centre, New York City. This is Tim Williams reporting from outside Donald Trump's house, the Trump Towers in New York City. As you can see, the footpath on the other side is blocked off. You're not allowed within 10 foot of the building. Apparently, Donald is home and he's expecting me at one o'clock. Without going in the Apple Store, the, the, the famous Apple. Apple Store in New York City. No, I haven't got the iPhone 6 Plus S. You have? I got a 6 Plus S. Oh, 6 Plus S. Yes. Morning. Yeah. Morning. Say the back, say S Plus. Look at this. This is famous. For the big apple. The big apple. Make sure you park in the proper place. If you don't, <laughs> you get towed away. Dylan's <laughs> candy. Famous candy bar in New York City. Hands inside the the Roosevelt Bridge and the Roosevelt Bridge has got trams. So a little gander it is eh? Right there, let's have a little look. So I'll put the, uh, as you can see, as you can see behind me is the Roosevelt Bridge and um, there's trams and there's stuff going back and forth. So uh, Let's take a closer look, shall we? This is still going to be a Roosevelt cable car, and we're going to travel across the tunnel. So we go in that direction. This is the Queen's Bro Bridge. It's not, it's not the Roosevelt Bridge. It's the Queen. Is an iPhone filming an iPhone? Yeah. Are pigeons on an app? So we're back on the rules of the hours that you were at. Okay, yeah, 
那啥地方啥吃？厂里啊，就是啊。厂里朋友，还有那。厂里人温情的知道吧？我们小区，厂里小区，小区是冬天啦，阿拉公园是三平啦。哎，差不多的，可以吧？有。哦，你刚搭车的车。啊，开车自动开的。刚刚那是可能比较热了，可能是。昨天那个山上的。山上。山上。我这还有。哎呦。So here we are, the lake, Central Park, and it is frozen. Central Park, doing tours day and night. These horses have walked a few miles. Could be worse off, they could be on the chopping table. So, um, use a famous clip from Home Alone when he's out in Central Park and he's got the rocks behind him. So, there we go. Home alone. Oh, that's our hotel. There, wasn't it? Park Central. It's your plan for Park Park. So we're with Ming now, and we're on our way to the taxi that's going to take us to the airport. All the streets now are shut down, ready for New Year's Eve tonight. Sniffer dogs. We've got snipers on the roofs. We've got everything. Park Central. I'm a bigger dude. Lose it, lose the old business. We're leaving New York. The streets have all been shut down now, so uh, yeah, I got to think it's going to be good timing. Two million people arriving to celebrate New Year's. And you got a crazy driver. And we're all way out. Got a crazy driver who just managed to get in 14 bags of luggage. And I'm going to make sure they get back where they come from. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so they could come back again. Oh yeah. Enjoy it. And then by the time they reach down there, they will be so happy, they're going to take care of me. They're going to give me the wallet, I give them 20. <laughs> so we went on the cable car over the veil. That's where we went on. Yep. We're now going over the Roosevelt Bridge. So we cable car it, and now we're driving it. Ah, that's not like it. It is good for a bridge. Oh. Double decker, it was built in 1900. It took nine years for it to be fully functional. This is what's the island right here.
Siwia Kolongan City Long England City So this is the end of our fantastic Caribbean American holiday and um, we've been away now for 14 days and we've got an 8 hour flight home then we've got to add 5 hours to get up to date mode. Only in America will you see someone arguing with their servants in the window. I'm going to